Welcome back, my little Planet Coaster nerds. Let me show you what I have accomplished when I'm actually left alone for a three-day weekend and I'm just able to play. <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, continuing down Depot Street here, I believe the last update you may have seen from me was we finished up with Calhoun's here and rounded the corner to go across this bridge into Depot Street where the train station and uh, and all that stuff is and we started out I started with uh, Craftsman's Valley kind of like a Dollywood-esque type area um, where I've got a blacksmith in here and the, and the little guests and stuff they can walk by and watch and look and see what the uh, what the craftsmen and stuff are making got a little bit of restaurant here information booth shut down um, got the wood carving area I've got the pottery guild over here so yeah the yeah, the little guests can kind of just walk by and uh, and check all that stuff out um, needed a filler spot over here where the Connie Express kind of makes a wrap around back into the station so I kind of use this area as just like a little management um, you know construction behind a uh, back lot kind of area got these spare signs and stuff over here just kind of the management offices and stuff so no biggie on that um thunderstruck i've did a little more added some more foliage um kind of I, I like how it turned out if there's one thing in the park i wish i would have taken more time on it it would have been thunderstruck um so, particularly because it's going to be the park's only mine train coaster. I feel I kind of rushed it a little bit. Um, but, you know, I mean, this, we've got, you know, I've got plenty of time to kind of learn how to do that better. And, um, you know, just, just get better at that in general. But still the layout of it, you know, I think it works kind of good sitting over there um, on the creek. Let's see what else we have. Oh, yeah, turning this way. Um, if you guys follow uh, follow follow me on Facebook and all that, you'll notice that uh, at the beginning of the weekend, I built Red's Drive-In, uh, kind of inspired by Dollywood's Red's Drive-In. Uh, put that down. It's not actually functioning. There's not a restaurant or anything inside it, so that's purely just a, a facade. But, you know, theoretically, if you take out this door, you could put in, you know, a Chief Beef or a, or a Cosmic Cow, anything you wanted, and just connect the path to it in the and the guests would actually walk up to it. Um, another thing I started to keep going with the 50s theme here is the Regal 50 style cinema. And another thing I wanted to show you guys, if you haven't seen Mufu T's at at Walker, this is absolutely incredible. I mean, just look at the detail he's put on this thing. It is insane. I love that. So what I did was I had a little Western theme here. Took out the little Western guys and put this, uh, set this up like it was a little Star Wars theme premiere. And what I also did was I put a bathroom back there um, in the theater so it would look like the guests, they'll actually go back here and use it and they'll walk out of there and stuff. So, yeah, big shout out to Mufu T for, uh, for actually putting that on the uh, workshop. And he says he's, uh, he's taking a little break, but he's back now, so hopefully he'll revamp some of his... Uh, Star Wars stuff now that he's uh, got access to the new pieces and uh, yeah I will put a link uh, I will put a description or a link in the description box down below to that so maybe you guys can go download that and uh, and check that out because I thought that is uh, pretty epic definitely you know him and Rudy this is one of the best Star Wars themes pieces of scenery I've seen so far so but uh, yeah whoops on the front porch of Calhoun's here sorry and the next part, I am trying my hand at an RMC coaster, Shine Run. And um, I put the entrance to this on the workshop as well, and Calhoun's and Red's in the movie theater. I will link all those in the description box below if you guys want to download those and, and get those into your game. But yes, this is Shine Run. It's kind of like a 1950s style um, hot rod, moonshine run, kind of like lightning rod almost themed, which would be really cool if we... Uh, uh, Sam Dini, if you're out there listening, if we could get a launch hybrid, <laughs> if we could get a launch RMC, that would be awesome. Uh, because yes, I would make this a launch coaster. But um, watch Silverette's video of the uh, of his kind of hybrid uh, Planet Coaster College. Check that out if you guys haven't seen that yet. 
But um, you know, nothing special here. Just a just a little RMC, kind of you know, got got some of their trademark elements. I just wanted something for this side of the park over here, and I figured that um, Shine Run would go perfect in kind of tying the end of the 50s theme over here. Um, I, I don't know how much more I will extend the 50s theme. I've kind of run out of room over here. I may be able to spin it around and do a couple 50s uh, style buildings right here. Um, but, you know, we'll just kind of, we'll just have to see how it goes. I, I'm kind of just making this park on the fly. Um, you know, I, I have a general direction and I, and I get ideas and stuff, you know, the ways I want to go. But, um, you know, just a, really a lot of it's just made on the fly. I'll hear something or I'll watch one of you guys and I'll be like, perfect. That's what I need in Geyser Springs. So, you know, that's kind of how it's going. It's kind of like I would call it loose direction. So, <laughs> you know, I don't... Um, not really just hardcore have a plan just kind of going with the flow so anyways guys that's where i will leave you with this um uh, you know i, I uh, really finally got a a smooth layout to go um, to go with the connie express here where i thought it was um believable and um and actually got the guests to use it kept the track totally on the ground I had a lot of different variations as far as, uh, you know, the track layout went where I wanted it to kind of weave its way through the, uh, through the creek and all that over here, but it just didn't look right. I had to have too many elevation points where the, where the train had to climb and then decelerate. Um, it, it just, I, I don't think it would have been really cool if the train could have snaked its way through the actual um, park, but without actually functioning, um, you know, railroad crossings and stuff, I think that would have been really hard in a park like this where so much of it has, uh, has already been laid out. So, yeah, kind of had to put the brakes on that as far as the train weaving through, uh, weaving through the, um, the park, but, you know, if they get the, if they get the actual, uh, Let's switch to the other train here. It's got some pretty cool shots. Actually, really cool shot here. You'll see. Um, just listen to the actual. You can hear the, the 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 engine, and it's just they did an awesome, awesome, awesome job on the Connie Express. And uh, I think you will round through here. You hear that? How much awesomeness is that? Here's the money shot. Really, really love this shot right here where you kind of get the whole park, the, you know, the, the, the big wooden coaster, kind of get that all in perspective. Love that. But, um, yeah, guys, anyways, I'll uh, go ahead and hop up on up out of here. And I just kind of wanted to show you what was going on so far. I've limited the uh, limited the guests to like 1,500, I believe. And that's another uh, thing for you guys. If you're um, if you're running into problems with your uh, PC and all that lagging, don't forget you can um, you can limit the number of guests you have in the park. Um, if you're sitting there trying to build and you're getting upset about your park lagging and, you know, crashing and all that, remember, if you're sitting there walking around with seven or 8,000 guests in the park and you are, uh, you know, you're on a lower-end PC, um, that is definitely going to hamper your performance because, the, you know, your, your processor is having to process, you know, seven, 8,000 different simulations at one time while you're trying to maybe record and build a restaurant and plop down a, a roller coaster so you know if you're uh, if you don't think your pc can handle it and you're trying to save up for a better pc uh remember just limit your guests while you're building i think that has really helped so um yeah you know uh limit your guests because i've got a uh, a ton of scenery here and and, and i'm experiencing you know, not a whole lot of lag. And yes, you know, I, I mean, I have a pretty beefy computer, but it's, it's you know, by no means running a Titan X or a, you know, I mean, I, I've I built it, you know, on, on a slight budget. I've probably got maybe $900 in my system. I kind of just bought stuff every few months and kind of built it up to that. So, you know, 
but I am not experiencing many issues. What we've got, we've got a um, little over 5,465 um, pieces, which I thought it was going to be a lot more than that, so that's not that bad. Um, 298 buildings, five track rides, and three amusement rides. So, you know, you kind of have to give and take, but um, yeah, that is pretty much where we're sitting at with Geyser Springs as of this weekend. So uh, thank you guys for stopping by and joining me, and I will catch you guys next time. Thank you. Hey, hey, hey.